Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. Today we're talking about narrow gap welding. This is a technique that has the potential to save you time and money. By reducing the groove volume, you not only reduce the amount of filler material, but the weld time, and you actually improve quality because every inch of weld that you don't make is a piece of weld that you do not have to inspect. Most full penetration weld grooves incorporate a 75 degree included angle, and that creates a huge volume of weld metal. Wouldn't it be better to reduce this angle down close to zero. Now you're welding a square joint, and that's what we're going to talk about today. This is something I've been working on literally for decades. My first experience with narrow gap welding occurred back in the early 80s when I was working in a welding research laboratory, and we were trying to reduce the weld volume of a weld groove on a rock bit. Kobe had just patented a clever system using twist wire. They used two 093 diameter wires twisted together. By feeding this 093 twist wire into the groove, in effect, rotated the arc and wetted the walls. I thought it was brilliant. Unfortunately, they didn't sell a small diameter wire, so with 093 wires twisted together, the minimum groove width that was efficient was half inch, and so you didn't make any savings unless you were over two inches in thickness. We wanted to weld something that was closer to an inch and a half, so we actually built our own wire twisting machine. We twisted two 030 wires together and were able to weld one inch steel. Of course, we violated the patent, so we weren't able to use it in production, but that's what got me thinking about narrow gap welding. Fast forward, and right before Fukushima, we invented a new technique for narrow gap subarc welding. By putting a cast in the wire, we're able to weld a square wall groove. This was great. This would be really useful for nuclear applications where typically the wall thicknesses are very thick on the order of inches or even feet. Unfortunately, this Fukushima disaster occurred and people lost interest in nuclear power at the time. Well, that's coming back, and that's what we're talking about. So the next effort we made was with a commercial gas tungsten arc narrow gap torch. It worked fairly well, but we recognized several shortcomings, and so we decided we'd build our own. We now have a torch that has dual servo axes. One axis rotates the torch, so we're able to oscillate the tungsten back and forth and wet the wall of the joint that we're trying to weld. And the second servo axis positions the wire, so you're able to sweep the torch back and forth across the groove, wetting the left wall, the right wall, and move the wire with it. It worked great, but we were limited to only around four inches in thickness. And once people saw what we're doing, they wanted to see how far we could push it. So we've come up with a deep hole torch that'll go down to a foot. What this means is with a two-sided groove, you can weld joints up to two feet thick. That's 24 inches. And with gas tungsten arc welding, it's not a fast process. So what we've done is we've added hot wire. Hot wire is a technique we use to improve deposition rate and reduce dilution when we're gas tungsten arc welding. We're using our own power supply because it's AC and it's constant voltage. We like these features because with constant voltage, it automatically corrects for variation in wire speed and stick out. We like AC because the electromagnetic interference between the hot wire power supply and the DC arc of the gas tungsten arc torch. We're actually causing the arc to oscillate at a frequency of 60 Hertz. This high frequency oscillation of the arc actually improves wetting of the walls of the weld joint. And it also enhances what is called weld follow, which is the ability of the weld puddle to progress. So if you're welding heavy parts, and I'm talking about anything from a couple of inches up to a couple of feet, you probably should call us and we should discuss whether or not narrow gap welding would be appropriate for your joints. We have three different welding technologies that we might apply. Gas tungsten arc welding with hot wire. We have submerged arc welding as well as gas metal arc welding. Particularly on thicker joints, you might see a reduction in well volume and well time on the order of 80%. If this might benefit you, give us a call. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.